Hey guys, and welcome back to Surviving Mars! We are currently in the middle of Mars, as we do seem to be at the beginning of almost every episode, and we're going to take a little moment here to have a look over the colony and see what it is that we are missing. You can see that we have a few problems with things like polymer not being got out to the uh, the far reaches. We're ma missing some um, machine parts there. If I come over to the actual colony resource window, you can see we're uh, single figures of electronics machine parts and uh, looking a little bit weak on the metals. So let's go and have a look. Now, obviously, the metals are the deciding factor in almost everything, but as we're over uh, this this dome here, let's just check and see. Yeah, we could do... I mean, we're making three a day, but we could definitely do with more here. We've got not got as many people... Okay, well, I think we're going to um, gonna send out for a resupply of uh, people. We are looking for people to work in the factories, right? Right? That that's that's really what we're after here. So let's open this up. Um Mm, we're restricted in the number of people we can have. What is that being the most restricted? Uh, we've got five tourists that we're not bringing. We've got lazy idiot gamblers that we're not allowing in. Uh, and also nine gamers. I mean, how many gamers we got there? Six. That's already put it over the top there. Let's go back to the uh, back to the screen. No, I don't. I, no, 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 I, no, I do not. I might have a lot of money, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, do we have a casino anywhere? Did we actually? Make managed to put one in in the end. I don't think we did, no. So uh, we're going to not bring the gamers else we're going to end up with a group of very unhappy people. That's the art workshop. Yeah, no, we've got people that are after um, such things as uh, luxuries and shopping and stuff like that, but nothing here appears to be, no. Okay, so we're not going to bring the gamers with us. That That's made things a little bit awkward if I am to be super honest with you. Eight is not really enough to be bringing with us. Who Gamblers, I mean idiots, lazy. Maybe maybe bring some lazy people with us. Let's have a look here. Uh, we'll take the sexy composed and uh, sexy religious officer though. I don't I don't have a need for security people. Um, a lazy alcoholic fit no specialization sounds good. Lazy no specialization. We'll take them. Couple of scientists there. That's good. Geologist no specialization. Scientists no specializations. Engineer always a must. Is is that it? We need to uh, make a decision on a, one of these officers. Okay, we're going to take the sexy composed one and hope that we have something to do with them at some point. At no point do we actually need to have a an officer down. This is going to uh, start affecting my morale somewhere, so maybe we can do something to swap them out. Do we actually have any spare space anywhere? Uh, only, like, we could possibly get rid of this garden here, but that sounds like a horrific way to uh, do things. Alright, so with them on their way to hopefully sort out our metals problem... Uh, wait, that wasn't that wasn't the metals problem, that was the electronics problem. Let's just quickly have a look at the various mines around. Most of them are fully stocked so I suppose it is just time we must have spent a whole bunch last time making our power over there um, yeah I mean it's, this is not even full so I might just open another work shift and see if there's a, a demand for that this is nearly full they've got the machine parts factory turning over this this place this this is doing quite well this is this has got quite the turnover Are these guys Martian born I think they might be I don't know I don't know though um, yeah okay we'll, we'll just let these guys turn over and carry on doing their thing. I suddenly have a lot of problems with oxygen and water, but I did just hear a meteor impact. Look at that. That's our problem right there. Uh, is this going to just immediately be taken care of? I I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. So we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Everything else is growing, but the electronic stock is not. So what I need to do is tell these guys to literally just concentrate on being an electronics foundry. Uh, if, if they get polymers out that's great but that's not what we're working towards no 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 it would be very good if we can just make uh, electronics every day maybe even we want to open up another place well anyway here's an, uh, an injection of a new uh, people research that should complete. hey we've got some research complete bioengineering that is the one that enables the um, 
the buildings inside domes to only need half as much maintenance or something like that so uh, that's pretty useful that cuts down on the use of metals there is one that does that for outside as well which means that these uh, solar panels and stuff don't need maintenance quite as often so that'd be pretty good now with all these people coming back in do we have let's have a look no I don't want to do that uh, this is 23 of 24 and that's 21 of 24 that's pretty good pretty good we got three people in there this should be absolutely full as we've spoken of okay we're going to keep keep working at that somewhere we should have scientists as well the research labs are doing their thing so that's pretty good um, we've got botanists in here i think this place is look, looking fairly fairly well balanced now we'll uh we'll, we'll keep this one running for a little bit uh when this is ready to ship out we'll go and have a look at one of the other domes to keep an eye on uh and see what we can do with them in particular this one up here something needs to happen up here so I note we're having a bit of trouble with fuel. That's because Clark is on the top uh, priority there. But we could also do with getting some more fuel made. I think this place is looking fairly nice and open for doing so. So let's do it around here. If we go to um, production and fuel refinery, we can just literally chip another one onto here. I'm wondering whether we actually want two. Let's press that and then come over to here. Now, obviously, we know we've got the production down because of the amount of uh, solar panels that are on the go so I'll live with that for now water production is getting close so we, we need to start thinking about how we're going to get our guys down here and moving a stuff around and honestly I'm not certain at the distance that we're at we could move down and just get some stuff down there like if I bring this guy uh, get him to just load up with metals and machine parts maybe we can get down there and build the water uh, water systems like that I think that'd be a good idea actually let's get beagle too and in fact no let's get spirit down here uh, we're going to start on on these water wells here or this one here these ones over here because they are closer to what we're looking for it's even a little bits of metal down there already so that should work out now if I remember correctly is it gonna is it gonna use the tunnel here's my real question is it gonna use the tunnel yeah all right nice that's that's what I'm talking about that's that's the sort of stuff we want going down so if we come over here oh no to here and now uh, right click go for life support water extractor definitely a thing that needs to be going down I'm gonna actually build twice uh, let's see what is this missing okay so we need 12 concrete and four machine parts to build those two we can definitely do that 12 concrete and four machine parts so if I select this target uh, no I do it this way actually if we uh, grab him and grab it off of the main loading bay there we can actually click to go for 15 concrete and do we have any machine parts there should be machine parts around somewhere we do have quite a few and we are making more so there's one but we need like four where would be the best place to grab them from we've got more machine parts being made up there here's two let's uh, let's go and grab those let's see what what are you doing you have you done unloaded up you have done oh look you've got machine parts on you as well okay so that's pretty cool let's go over there let's just grab all the machine parts and see what happens then uh, you guys down here definitely still waiting but that's fine that's fine uh, let's talk about how we're going to get our power and water moving out from here so obviously we want to go from here up and through this system I kind of want to dodge around that for now if I can um, it's not going to let me go there but I'm fairly sure no I drove through here I drove through it should be fine okay let's uh, let's bring these back let's not do that and have a salvage uh, obviously the thing we're going to have to do now is to put a tunnel in place I'm not not best pleased about that if I'm to be honest with you but we'll make do we'll do that like that and then we've got a whole load of stuff that needs to be shipped not least of all is a bunch of uh concrete so we're gonna have to move it from somewhere there doesn't appear to be anywhere nice and close have you done your job over here getting all the concrete and electronics machine parts that's good just get a full load of that if you could as well please uh, Clark is ready for takeoff we've got all the food ready to go so let's do that uh, send him away let's go see if we can, what we can do over at this place because there's a lot of a uh, lot of people saying oh no there's no power why is there no power we've connected up all the power systems you should be fine oh 
Oh, oh, there is actually no power here. Okay, we can, we can make this work, though. We can make this work. Uh, we're going to come along power cables, click, click. That should make that work better, uh, or even at all. And now, this guy should be fully fueled up and full of stuff. So if we come all the way down the bottom here and place you right here, that should get a whole bunch of stuff made for us. Up here is going to be a little bit more demanding. We've got 20 metal and 30 machine parts. Yeah, yeah. I disagree that they can drive through there, but I can't put a pipe. Disagree. Uh, production? No, I want life support. We want to go for pipes. I want to go from here to there. Oh, nearly there. There we go, like that. That should be able to get made relatively quickly. Away these guys. Ooh. It's, um, it's all green. Why are we all green? Desk, a strange light appears in the corner of your vision. It pulsates and intensifies. Bathing the room in a warm glow. It feels... Actually, it feels just about right. It's so unexpectedly pleasant that any fears of food or drug poisoning are quickly doused and forgotten. And then you hear the voices. People laughing, yelling, crying, speaking. The language is incomprehensible, but you sense the presence of a friendly and strangely familiar entities. The shimmering light starts forming patterns and sparkles f flashed briefly, revealing scenes from another place. You struggle to concentrate and maintain control, and the mirage dissolves. You're left alone and confused in the command room. Like, what, what did just happen there? What was that? What was that? Also, green floor still. Uh, Sector scanned. Mystery duration is unknown. We've got some buildings not working there. Nighttime is coming green again. I'm um, I'm not sure whether I agree with this or not. Obviously, it is a thing that is happening, uh, but I don't know if it's a good thing that is happening or not. Uh, okay, these guys are working. I like the I like the lighting scheme. It's uh, definitely a thing I could get behind. Let's go with more power while we're at it. Welcome for another day. Thank you for sh coming along and showing us your face, dear soul. We we are forever indebted unto you. Okay, we're going to move this one up, and we're also going to move this one up. Hopefully, everything has been fixed before. Four. Okay, let's let's get them closer. Let's get them closer, uh, and we're gonna need a whole load of bits here. Whole load of bits. Now I'm gonna let these guys do a little bit of building, bring down a whole load of other stuff, and I will see you when we've got a little bit further. I'm probably gonna actually talk about how we don't have the metals or machine parts in a second. Actually, actually, I know how this is supposed to be done. Wait, stop, stop. Now that we've got the. Uh uh, the shuttles in place will come along to storage we'll put down a universal depot it literally goes uh, let's pop it over here so it's out of the way and then eventually we should spot a shuttle coming along to drop stuff off here I don't think I want to be going quite as fast as we're going there look yeah here they come look straight away oh man so the something that I read up on the internet what are you doing back there buddy hey beagle you're um you're a little bit lost you're a little bit lost go, go around that way if you could uh, and you are not the only one who's seen this Odd mirage. Multiple signals from the colony are coming in and everyone at Mission Control is worried. People are falling asleep on the streets and at their workstations. Ooh, some report vivid hallucinations. The affected colonists express symptoms of high stress and have been put under medical supervision. We also exchange information with Earth Control, but they report no activity on their end. Seems uh, is localized to Mars. Ooh, but the orange, but the green's gone. The green's gone. Okay, well, I'm down with that. I am down with that. Now, these guys should just keep delivering. All right, cool, cool. Uh, we'll, we're just going to leave these guys here to uh, to fix and upkeep all this stuff. Uh, we need to do something similar over here. So if we go metals, uh, that's not metals, power, and then all across like this. Let's, let's actually get the beagle back to fix this stuff. Uh, beagle, dude, uh, there looks to be metals here, so hopefully you can do all that. What is your surface? area right here service uh, area not surface area that's that's a little bit different um we should be able to leave this guy just watching over all this uh may have moved him down a little bit too far but let's see what happens when we power pile out here are you still doing the work that's needed to do i think you might do i uh, know no he's a little bit far away okay let's go up to that one and see if that's any better looks like it is okay cool right i'll be back when all this lot has been put into place oh dear we've, we've got earth sick colonists i'm just gonna put down this universal depot so it can also start getting worked on why why are you earth sick buddy what's going on what's wrong um Surface building was full. Service building was full. I seem to be saying surface a lot today. Uh, service building was full. Has an unprepared meal. Mmm. 
He needs to social and relax a lot more. And what what is this about unprepared meals? Is this not what the diner's about? Do you like have to buy it at the grocer's or something? So this one is the social. Let's uh, let's open up some more some more seating arrangements. Maybe that'll do it. Ten out of ten. It's probably going to be yeah. Every day is uh, more than they can actually handle. So let, let's put them in like that and see if that helps. Hopefully we'll get rid of our, our Earth sick colonists pretty quickly there. Uh, is this guy going to come through and do the business for me? We've got a lot of concrete going down. I like that. A lot of concrete. The uh, lack of machine parts and metals worries me. We've got a lot of metals, so that's fine. Fuel is a problem still. Did we get the fuel depot put down over here? That is good. And he is producing, so that's, that's pretty tasty. That is pretty tasty. Just having a quick look at my map, I can see that I've only got a couple of anomalies out here. So let's use the good old curiosity probe. I'm going to hit that one and that one and then go back to base. That should work out pretty well for me. Uh, what is it? This is a uh, an unlock. It leads to a breakthrough. And this one up here uh, is the same. Unlocks to new technologies. Ah, a bit of a funny on the go here. Got some drones outside of range. I suppose we should put down some uh, some dumping sites. Some dumping sites out of drone range is what I was actually supposed to have said there. Uh, something like this should work out pretty well. Let's yeah, let's use that. And away they go. As quick as that. That's that's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, dude's still earth sick though. Oh, I am noting that we are short of a power during the day. This is this is actually bad. This is not the sort of thing, not the sort of situation we want to find ourselves in. We can open this. That will definitely help. Um, that will put an extra 10 onto the power grid. But that's not, mm, it's, it's not a, a viable long-term solution. Maybe another wind farm is, though, if we put this down. Oh, I'm worried about burning through all our machine parts. So you can see the machine parts produce is six, but the maintenance is only two. So we could probably get away with having a few more. That fuel production, fuel consumption definitely needs to be um, uh, addressed there. So what did we just get in research? In fact, let, let's come back out so I can see what... Micro manufacturing. Let's go. That's the one that gives us access. Where is it? Uh, 3D printing. Again, gave us access to the uh, the electronics factory. I'm, I'm fairly sure. There it is. Micro. Yeah, new building. Electronics factory. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do we want to get ourselves a larger dome? Do we want to get ourselves Arcology or Smart Homes or another or a slightly smaller, larger dome than that? That that would be good. Uh, we could get some new crops available to us and maybe some Smart Homes as well. Uh, smart Homes actually give... Oh, no. Basic domes have improved comfort. That's not what I thought it was at all. Smart Homes are down here. You can see that the things are very similar, just the same picture but a different angle. Uh, but Smart Homes and Smart Complexes. So the, the, the Smart Complex... Complex, I can, I can say the word properly, uh, comes out as one of these big triangles, whereas the smart home is one of these tiny ones. So we could pack more stuff in, and that's always good. Oh, look, Harvest went down pretty well. Project discovered, Project Phoenix, sorry, breakthrough. Uh, when a colonist dies, there's a 50% chance he or she is reconstructed as a youth with the same traits. I like that. We're going to get that. We're definitely going to get that. Uh, alien implants, um, which provides a boost to all research when scanned. Let's grab that first before we do anything. That sounds like a plan there. Uh, so now we want to get the curiosity coming up to this unlock, and that'll be the whole of this side of the map anomalies done. And then we'll start thinking about here. And as we're working our way down this way, we'll also be able to start thinking about this. But at the moment, we're waiting on machine parts and such to come through here. So I'm looking at this, and this is going to end up being a fairly major piece of um, infrastructure for us. We're still we're still making some, that's fine. Uh, a fairly major piece of infrastructure for us. So I'm thinking what I actually want is to put a drone hub down here. And the, fair enough, no cable connection. Can I get connection up like that? I mean, if I come down here, oh no, I can't. I cannot cover this bit of water here, and also cover the tunnel. Uh, so that's. Oh, oh, maybe if I, if I do it like this, that's one more that we can get in the catchment area and still be fine. Okay, let's let's do that. That's pretty good. Getting the extra water in place is definitely a winner. Now, the question, of course, is do we want to tunnel this stuff over here? Because that that's a distance. That is a distance. Um, I suppose it's tw is it more than twenty? 
I don't know actually. I do not know. But if this drone hub gets built, we should be able vehicle with low battery. Ooh. Okay, so we, we've got anomaly and analyzed, and thankfully we're very close to being able to just join up like that. What about you guys? Are you making? Yeah, you're you're making more than you're using. That's that's cool. That's cool. Next steps, next steps are uh, ones to think about. Uh, I think it's going to be this water over here. We, we definitely need to start getting a lot, and I do mean a lot of fuel underway, because it's the one thing that we don't have a significant buffer on production and consumption. Oh, I have noticed we do actually have a big problem here. If we have a look at our basic resource on the rare metals down the bottom, it looks like I can't go there, but you, you guys can see like down there, right? Uh, we're producing one, but consuming two which uh, tells me that we need to turn up the, the the likelihood of that guy getting filled. There we go, something like that. It turns out we'll have no scientists for this lot, um, and this is also top priority, that's fine. Maybe the redistribution of people will work in our favor there. I am tempted to shut down this research facility as I think we should have another one elsewhere, and then we can turn this into service areas. I mean, what's the, what's the place looking like? Drinking, there, there's, there's nothing I'm gonna put into a single space that will give drinking bonuses I think let's have a look uh, space bar is a big thing but it does do drinking dining manual uh, checks exercise no nothing here yeah nothing here gives drinking other than the space bar uh, buildings idle that Ooh, let's just clear this up then no deposit let's let's eat it nom 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 that's cool we're eventually gonna end up with no deposit being here at all we've only got like 200 left most of that is living here but you can see we've got a couple of other spots to watch out for as well so that's a thing uh, let's let's do that now while we're here actually it'll take us a milliseconds maybe a little bit longer than that uh, but let's come down like like this does that look good and then this one up here can be eaten by another another one I think though maybe we're gonna come in like this try to eat this stuff here is gonna be awkward uh, the the best way I could probably do it is like this Ooh, ooh, ooh! but that would work if we could just get rid of this little bit of cable up the top here I've broken and re-put together this cable quite a few times now uh, production concrete turn around I, I just really want to eat it all you know I just want to I want to get every single bit of it done uh, so something like that that works for me hopefully works for you guys too uh, just had someone knock on my door and it's totally thrown me off. I'm not even sure what I was doing anymore. Uh, what I was about to do, indeed, was uh, have a look at this polymer and uh, this science lab. They, they seem to be the two things that aren't strictly necessary up here. Now, I'm not going to get rid of the polymer factory because I feel like it might be useful. But this research lab, I'm going to... Oh, I didn't want to... Okay, drone is on the way. That's all right. I don't want to actually um, repair it for now. Uh, let's get rid of that and see what happens. So he still he still dropped off an electronics. That's uh, a little bit unfortunate there. And what are we going to replace it with? This is the question. Now, as this seems to be a fairly grumpy dome by the looks of it, medical checks, drinking, relaxation is for. Okay, so we're going to put some relaxation buildings in. Let's go with that. Let's go with an alleyway. Uh, as I've got an alley at the back here, I think I might try and connect them up no that's not the direction ah uh, is it not actually going to do the way that i want no looking at it i'm not going to be able to get the alleyway touching the bit that i would like to okay that's that's um unfortunate but not the end of the world we'll just have this random alleyway going in a curve like that <laughs> oh look all the uh, all the concrete was really close by so people just came in and got that working that should work out pretty well this infirmary being out of people though that's uh, a little bit unfortunate maybe we want to try and move in another group of people alien implants have been um research though oh look and we get things like this curiosity my friend if you could please come and come and check that out for us uh whilst that's happening resupply passenger rocket rocket capacity oh 28 matching colonists though let's go to the perks no gamers already bat down so uh flaws let's get rid of lazy that's only two no get rid of lazy that's only two down so let's review this and see what we can get going here obviously we want a couple of engineers have we got any medics medics are the ones in particular that I'm looking out for. No specializations, officers and botanists. No, okay, so that's a little bit of a shame. What is this botanist? He's 
yeah he's sexy we're, we're gonna go with that uh, literally the top ones are good I want to um, obviously boost my birth rate as high as possible uh, always 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 helpful no specialization uh, alcoholic vegan mm, fit no special yeah we'll, we'll take most of these um, I'm not so fussed on the scientists right now as I have taken away the science station melancholic and hypochondriac that's good so always like the enthusi enthusiasts we'll uh, we'll try and keep hold of them if we can do i want another botanist or two no let's just quickly have a look through these ones see if there's any in particular i'm willing to take let's uh, let's go with a hippie cool sounds good let's launch them out and see what we get and i think that'll probably be the last thing we do in today's episode are we not fixing this one guys is this not is this not getting done i want a bridge between this battery and this place here. Maybe they just don't want to build this bit. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, research tech, uh, research cost of all text reduced. Nice. That's because of the alien artifacts. Ah, oh, maybe next time we'll be going around to grab us all of those. Uh, in fact, definitely we'll be doing so. Let's just let this get built up into place. We are critically short of metals, but that's just because we're building stuff. It's not because we are actually seriously short. You can see we're producing 20 and we're only consuming 16. So we'll uh, try and do something about that. Still no... Uh no machine parts down here for yon tunnel which would fix all of our water issues oh the grass has just turned green again something is going to happen let's clear all this uh stuff going on over here most of this is not stuff we need so to worry about this time you managed to fight it for a minute or two before you sink into a hypnotic slumber when you open your eyes, you find yourself hundreds of meters above the ground. The panic overtakes you and you wave your limbs frantically as you try to grasp something. Despite the fact that you aren't falling, a strong rope supports you near the trunk of a gigantic tree, taller than any skyscraper. You compose yourself just on time to hear your sister laughing way above you. What are you doing, Cal? Stop it, silly. You hear a voice di directly in your mind. The realization of where you are hits you with full force. You remember that your name is Cal, that you and your numerous clan call this tree home. You take a deep breath and look at the horizon. Horizon. The bright sun is almost completely covered by a thick veil of red and orange. Ooh, are we having flashbacks here? comes back to you as she looks toward the horizon, frowning. Cal, another dust storm is coming. And obviously, I mean, flashback to a previous time in the in the planet's life. Let's finish with, with these moss veins and get back inside. You clench the rope with your six-digit di six two-thumbed hand and start climbing towards the, the last of the moss veins, which keeps the bark of home healthy and alive. This one is almost completely dry too, you speak, uh, you speak out, which upsets your sister. You remember that speaking words and send of sending them has always been an expression of deep, uncontrollable feelings. Only four dozen of our 300 are still alive. I fear home will not survive for much longer. Mother would be devastated. You both enter home in grim silence. As you enter a dim lit hollow, hollow, the mirage fades and you wake up in your chair. Oh my gosh. Well, this seems like a great time to bring some people in. Um, what, what, what better time could we have for doing that? Uh, curiosity, my friend. Can you go over there and prepare thyself for next episode? I think we're going to have to leave the tunnel ready for next episode as well. As I'm going to say, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're going to find out what these uh, horrific hallucinatory flashbacks are about. We're going to get this tunnel finished. And we're going to try and send these guys home. Despite the fact that we are badly badly running out of fuel but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye